How does knowing my personality type actually help me? Greetings, travelers. Welcome <laughs> to Geek Psychology. So I get this question when I when I give people like um, profiling assessments or when I'm just talking about personality type with new people or my friends uh, who aren't actually into it as much. They're just like, well, I get I understand like, you know more about yourself, but like, what is that going to do? How is that actually going to help you? And you might be thinking that, too, and you are probably going through some stuff probably have some obstacles, some issues, some the pit of despair, perhaps you feel like you can't break free or whatever it is. And I feel that knowing your personality type is one of the major keys that will show you what, what your strengths are, and maybe what you're not utilizing within there and also your weaknesses, and how maybe those are tripping you up or the fact that if you always approach the same thing, if you always swing your hammer in the same way at the same thing and it's not working, then you need to change tactics. You need to bring in a different voice, a different opinion, a different approach to things. So knowing your personality type is going to shed some light on those different areas. Okay, so first of all, let's start talking about the SJs. Um, I have a good ESTJ friend, um, my dad's an ESFJ, my stepmom's an ESTJ, and I'm just always inspired by like how meticulous you can be and how well you can um, support the, the structure of life. Like you, you work hard to get things done, and that actually, that builds your community, that builds your family, and it keeps things so that people are secure and safe. Like when I was <laughs> worse with money than I am now, um, you know, classic NP thing, I suppose, but I would constantly get, get funded, get supported by my friend and my family because they were good at that stuff and they, you know, I, I messed up and I'd be like, can I please have it? I'm gonna pay you back. And they always had that stability, that structure there. And like, you need something, I got you. And it's not in like a complete serving way, but it's like a really reliable rock that you can, <laughs> you can rely on, you can lean on. I just find it so cool. So if you're an SJ, like that's something that you might not realize that you're really providing with other people, providing to other people and supporting other people through that. Okay, it's not just you, you're actually helping other people out, you know. Um, and with that also, let's go on to the NPs. Uh, I'm an NP, but I'm thinking about a couple other friends, Ian, FP, Ian, TP, and it's just the amount of unique, clever ideas that come up and the fun, the excitement, every conversation is just something new and it just it brings a, a joy a happiness a light right and it creates a more optimistic future too because you're always trying to change things you're always playing with ideas and, and fiddling with you know the structure of reality and through that you're you're looking to how things could be better you know and so you have that superpower of being able to change things for the better for the NJs, that long range vision of, of what you want or how things will be and, and being able to, um, to realize that goal. And it's, it's not necessarily that you're going to force yourself to do it, but a lot of times there's this, you know, I'm sure you know this if you're an NJ, that there's this compulsion, right? Like once that idea has formed and crystallized, you just have to see it through. And that's so cool. Like Elon Musk, dude is crazy in a really good way. He's changing everything to reach his goals that he has he's seen, his visions that he's seen of how things could be in the future. Um, and it's, it's always mind boggling how somebody can have that much, um, I guess, clarity of insight for where things are going. Beautiful. <laughs> SP's excitement every day <laughs> every day something is is 
exciting and new and fun and um it's it's not like in that ideational realm but it's like i'm going to make life enjoyable i'm going to enjoy these the waves of life as they're they're crashing into me or that i'm surfing on and it's just it doesn't matter how it's coming reality life the moment is so special and my esp friends have constantly shown me that like man you you worry too much about this stuff like let it happen let life do what it's going to do and be happy in the moment with that and embrace it and live life now stop worrying about what's going on or what will happen in the future i just i love it it's, it's so cool to to be able to see other people go into that mode and just i'm here i'm with you right now you know it's it's great it's so cool fjs i got a lot of fjs in my life and it's it's nice to always know that like somebody's there to support me somebody is caring about me worrying about me thinking feeling about how i am and what i'm doing and and am i comfortable am i safe am i good like in whatever way it is like my wife my mother-in-law um, my father fjs um, and it's it's always just it's so great to know that somebody is going to be there to to look out for me and to make sure that my interests and and my i guess feelings are protected and cared for and that i'm getting enough to eat that i'm getting enough rest that i'm healthy and happy and just that that constant healing from someone else and and support is is something that you really bring to the table here and you know exactly how to support and care for another person and tps um i have a, a good estp friend and a good entp friend and my father-in-law is an entp and so we're going to talk about i guess from the auxiliary position a bit more but i guess now i have a good intp friend too but anyway the the clarity of detail of information is just so cool and so inspiring to me because I, it could just be me but i often attribute that stuff to or i i pass on that stuff to machines like I'll, I'll let the calculator handle that i'll let the computer handle that i it's not something i can do it's not something that my brain can do right but you constantly show me how amazing the brain can be and how clear and crisp you can define and, and calculate and refine these definitions this these data points this information the the concepts um the knowing of like how your body is working like for an stp with a refined like i need to rotate my arm just this much more and then it'll unlock the the leverage that i need to i don't know shoot the three point or something like that it's just so cool that you can think like that about something that i'm just it's it doesn't even cross my mind it's and and the constant sharing of information is, is beautiful too tjs you you guys just know how to get stuff done i'm serious about that like that's insane how much you can do and how much you can push yourself to reach your goals like you know that you can achieve whatever it is you set your mind to it's just a matter of how much energy you want to put into it you know and and that's cool to be able to set those goals to be able to see all the resources that you have available and and to break it apart into the steps the like the little steps that you need to reach what you're going for to progress to aspire to it's beautiful it's something that bogs a lot of other types down you know we we struggle with these these big visions or like these things that i want to do and i just don't know how to do it and i just don't know how to get there and you know i know a lot of tjs and you'll you'll clearly be able to lay that out and say well you just got to do this and this and this 
you know, and you have the things that you need. You got the money, you got the, the time, the value, the friends, the resources. Well, you kind of set it up like this and then you're on your way, little one. Go. I, it's inspiring. FPs, uh, my brethren. <laughs> um, the, the cool thing about FPs and, you know, a lot of people are going to struggle with it as they're growing up, but it's once you get this refined identity, this clarity of knowing who you are, and it will take some time, you can, you can go really deep into, I feel what it means to be a human, like in, in this emotional world that we have. And it's not just emotions, right? It's, it's the organization of values and feelings, right? And, and seeing how each person um, can tap in to these different aspects of themselves and bring it out right and when you do that you can you express it you share it with art you let other people um, ride that vehicle into a, a deeper understanding of themselves and and through that you can inspire and and build conviction for yourself and for other people to get things done to change the world uh, to do the things that maybe society wouldn't let other people do but you know you're able to do that to change the world to make it better to help humanity so i know there's a lot of information you know and and i hope that i delivered it in a way that was succinct enough that you can actually see yourself in that that piece you know if you're an sj you can see that within yourself i want to show you that like you can use that to get yourself out of stuck to get yourself into a better position, right? If you're struggling with a relationship and you're an SFJ, for example, like maybe you need to focus a little bit more on the the structure, right? And the day-to-day -day stuff and making sure that your your partner is is taken care of or bonding in the same emotion at the same time or something like that. Or maybe that means that you're struggling with one of the weaknesses. You're struggling with the NP aspect of things or the TP type of things. And maybe you're focusing on that clarity in, in, of information and you're, you're going too critical on little pieces of information. You're not really trying to help people. You're not really trying to bond with your partner as much as you could. Or maybe you're, you're um, speculating a little bit too much, right? You're going towards that NP aspect of things. Um, and, and through that, you're not, you're not into your, um, your genius, into your zone, your strength, right? So that could give you some insights into what you could do to get out of it, right? And that all brings us back to how does knowing the personality type actually help you? And it's right there. You know, it, you have these strengths within you. You have these weaknesses within you. And it's up to you. I can't tell you, but it's up to you to to manipulate them in the ways that need to be done to reach your goals and to overcome those shortcomings through realizing that this is a part of you. And this is something that as your type, you're probably going to struggle with and you can accept it and say, yeah, it's something I'm going to struggle with and I'm going to push through it. Or you can say, you know, this is something I'm going to struggle with. I need your help. I need somebody else to do this for me um, or to show me how to do it a little bit better. Or I'm going to use my skills, my strengths to get to another way of doing that. So to wrap this up, I have two questions. The first one, what strengths do you have based on what I just said and based on your own understanding of yourself. What strengths do you have that are going untapped, that you're not putting enough energy into, that you're not using enough in your daily life? And the other one, what weaknesses do you have that you are possibly focusing too much on, that you're letting problems multiply in other areas as you're so hyper-focused on this one weakness? Something for me, uh, a strength that I have that I think I'm not embracing as much is um, art and tapping into the, the 
stories within myself and bringing them out to to help other people understand themselves a bit. Um, I try to be a little bit more technical and formal with a lot of these presentations, with these videos, and my my concepts and ideas instead of letting it flow and letting the story go where it goes and, and really um, tapping into that side of myself that likes to imagine the different characters within myself talking and and um, going on adventures and things like that right so that's an f an nfp type thing that i'm possibly not really tapping into and a weakness that i hyper focus on is my desire for clarity of this information and and being able to find a couple key words to express an entire idea and it's just it's not a thing that i'm naturally um, built for and so knowing my personality type shows me that and it's a matter of re-realizing it you know you got to stop yourself and you got to tap in and be like yep yeah, yep yeah, i got looped into that again and knowing it means that you can't really you can't deny it you can forget about it but you can't deny it <laughs> you know like these are my strengths these are my weaknesses i know that i need to accept it and i need to use that to grow and i need to do things in a way that is going to honor who i am and and be something that only i can do or my type is going to do in a way that the world needs the world needs all these different types need all the different skill sets of everybody. So anyway, I hope this video helped. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and maybe showed you some things about yourself or about the people in your life that, uh, that can make the world a little bit better. All right, keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck, have fun, peace.